in this uh, question we're going to draw a distance time graph for the speed time graph shown. So, what we've got to realise, if we've got a speed time graph, which is what we've got here, is that the area underneath the graph will give uh, distance travelled. So, in the first case, which is going to be this bit here, then the area there is going to be 2 times uh, 5, which is 10 metres. So in the first um, 2 seconds, it travels uh, 10 metres. So on this graph here, we at 2, 10, we put a point, and join it up with a straight line. Right, in the next part here, we're going to go 3, 3 times 3, which is 9 metres. OK, but we need to remember the total distance travelled is going to be the 10 plus the 9, which is equal to 19. And therefore, we need to now go at uh, T is 5. We need to go up to 19 so put a dot there and join it out with a straight line in the next one second it's going to do one times seven seven meters but the total distance traveled is going to be 10 plus 9 plus 7 which is 26 so we're going to now need to put here at 6 a mark at 26 and join that up with a straight line Right here, it doesn't go. It doesn't go anywhere. There's no distance un underneath the graph. All right. So the total distance will still be twenty six. So therefore, we get a horizontal line. And for the final part, uh, we're going to go from five times four, which is twenty meters. Therefore, the total distance travelled will be twenty six plus the twenty, which gives me forty six meters. So therefore, twelve. I need to put a dot at 46, which is there, and then join it up with a straight line. So here we have the resulting distance time graph from this uh, speed time graph. So this has been a video to show you how to find, draw a distance time graph from a speed time graph. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.